Today, a controversial subpoena for voter data will come before a Commonwealth court. This could affect 9 million Pennsylvanians, possibly you too. Let's get right out to Chris Hoffman joining us live. So Chris, walk us through what's going to happen today. Heather and David, Attorney General Josh Shapiro argues some of this information that's being subpoenaed violates Pennsylvanians' rights to their own personal information. Some of that information that is being subpoenaed includes uh, voter information like their Social Security numbers and driver's license numbers. This is all part of an audit of the 2020 presidential election. High-ranking state Republicans like Senate President Pro Tempore Jay Corman say the audit is to restore faith in the voting process. Shapiro states GROP leaders crossed a legal line by voting to subpoena personal information like this. Members of the state Senate say they need this information to verify the validity of people who voted in the election last year. The Pennsylvania Capital Star reports this information would go to a third party company as part of the audit. It says the company would be Sage Envoy out of Iowa, which reportedly has no experience auditing elections. AG Shapiro argues there is no reason for the subpoena. The right to keep personal information private is actually guaranteed by our state constitution and has been recognized repeatedly by our state Supreme Court. The Republican subpoena violates Pennsylvanians' right to protect their own private personal data without a legitimate, justifiable legislative purpose. And our partners over at the Post-Gazette report, the ACLU says giving a third party access to this kind of information allows for identity theft, financial fraud, and even disruption to elections. Now, this all goes before a Commonwealth Court to this afternoon, so stay with us throughout the day for both updates on air and online on this developing story. Live, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.